So with multiplying and dividing integers, I like to use what we call the sleeping integer man. Uh, Miss Peterson has up here on this study guide this triangle. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, what I like to call him the medical doctor because doctors are usually tired. So I like to call him a medical doctor because that reminds you that it's only for multiplication and division. So I know I have a negative and a negative. So if I was to cover that up, my answer is going to be positive. So I know my final answer is positive. And then 12 times 20. A couple of things you could do here. You could do 12 times 10 and give you 120 and then double that to get 240. Or you could just do it old school. 12 times 20. That's going to give you 0, 0. That's going to give you 4. So 240. Okay. So what property I used here was the distributive property where I broke down the 20 into 10 and 10. So here I need to divide. So again, you're going to use your sleeping integer man. You have a negative and a positive. So I cover up my negative and a positive. My final answer is going to be negative. Now, I don't just see this right off the bat what it is, so I'm going to do it old school because I'm not lazy. So 132 divided by 6. 6 goes into 13 2 times. Gives me 12. 1, 2. 6 goes into 12 2 times. So my final answer is negative 22. And then looking at this one, it's again, I'm going to be multiplying. When variables are smacked up against each other, it's multiplication. And then I have that extra step of having to plug these in. So I'm going to substitute in, give it a little hug. So x, I'm going to substitute in negative 6. y, I'm going to substitute in negative 4. And for z, I'm going to substitute in negative 8. So I'm going to go ahead and do these two at a time. So I have a negative and a negative. I know that's going to be a positive. 6 times 4 is 24. So it's a positive 24 times a negative 8. Now I have a positive times a negative. I know my answer is going to be negative. So I'm going to go ahead and do this old school off to the side, again, because you're not lazy. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So 192. So a negative 192. So just remember to take your time and go two at a time. And then for this last one, again, I'm going to substitute in for y. They give me negative 4. I'm going to do this first. So this is going to equal negative 44 divided by negative 2. So a negative divided by a negative is a positive. 44 divided by 2 is going to give me 22.